Hello, my name is Bing Yang. I'm here to talk to you about our work, How Effective is Ureteroscopic Irrigation at Evacuating Stone Dust? As we are all well aware, laser lithotripsy breaks up stones into fragments and dust, and often there are too many fragments and they are too small to basket them out individually. Residual fragments are a problem because they may then act as a nidus for new stone formation. So what we are investigating is, can these fragments be washed out by intraoperative irrigation alone? To do this, we used pure graded quartz sand as a model for the stone dust and fragments. We separated out by size into uh, fractions by wet sieving. 1 to 2 millimeters, half a millimeter to 1 millimeter, 250 micrometers to 500 micrometers, all the way down to less than 63 micrometers. We then combined equal quantities of each size fraction into a uniform dust mix, half a gram to begin with, corresponding to a roughly 6 millimeter stone. We place this dust mix in the interpolar calyx of a specially designed kidney model, leading to an 8mm diameter ureter, filled it with water and directed a single-use flexible ureteroscope at the dust. We then irrigated the dust via a peristaltic pump for 30 minutes at irrigation rates of 15 mls per minute, 30 mls per minute and 120 mls per minute. At the end of irrigation, we then moved the model into the vertical position to allow it to drain, and this is to model the patient sitting up in the recovery or standing postoperatively. We then collected all the residual dust remaining in the kidney and measured it. Here are some videos to illustrate the effects of irrigation in real time. On the left, the irrigation rate is 15 mls per minute, in the middle, 30 mls per minute, and on the right, 120 mls per minute. And you can see that for the lower irrigation rates, the dust appears to uh, respond initially, but then appears relatively static, whereas on the right, at high irrigation rates, the dust is rapidly moved out of the calyx. Here are the same videos, but sped up 60 times, so you can see the entire 30 minutes of irrigation. On the right, at 120 mls per minute, you can see that the calyx is completely clear, but the majority of the dust still appears to be in the renal pelvis, not having washed out of the kidney. At the lower irrigation rates, you can see that there's still substantial amounts of dust in the calyx itself, and most of the dust appears to be sitting in the lip going towards the renal pelvis. So we'll now go over the results of the particles that were remaining in the kidneys. On the x-axis is the size of the dust particles, going from the smallest particles on the left to the largest particles on the right. And on the y-axis is the percentage of the starting dust that was still in the kidney after 30 minutes of irrigation. Now this blue line here are the results for 15 mls per minute irrigation rate. You can see that for most of the large particles above about 125 microns, essentially all of the particles were still in the kidney at the end of the irrigation. Uh, and although there was some movement of the smallest particles, still about 70% of the smallest particles, the sub-63 micron particles, are still in the kidney at the end of 30 minutes of irrigation. Increasing the irrigation rate to 30 mls per minute, we have the orange line. You can see that still the largest particles of 500 micrometers and above, so half a millimeter and above in other words, there's essentially no washout with essentially 100% of particles still being in the kidney at the end of the procedure. However, for smaller particles, uh, there are fewer particles remaining compared to 15 mls per minute at all sizes. But even then, the majority of particles are still left in the kidney with over 50% of even the smallest sub-63 micrometer particles still remaining in the kidney. 
and now if you were to increase irrigation rates even further to 120 mils per minute here we have the green line now this is typically not achievable clinically uh, unless you're irrigating uh, manually through a syringe but this is to illustrate what you might be able to uh, achieve with much higher irrigation rates and you can see that even then roughly half of larger particles still remain in the kidney at the end of this and even the smaller particles about 30 to 40 percent are still in the kidney at the end of the 30 minutes of irrigation and what this suggests is that even with uh, extremely high irrigation rates there's still going to be potentially nearly half of particles uh, remaining in the kidney after 30 minutes of irrigation so in conclusion then ureteroscopic irrigation at typical clinical rates of 15 to 30 mils per minute were only able to wash out a small percentage of the smallest particles in these experiments and if there's residual stone debris that doesn't pass spontaneously this can then act as a nidus for recurrence and our findings with very high irrigation rates suggest that complete evacuation of stone fragments probably cannot be achieved by intraoperative irrigation alone and likely needs additional technologies such as suction to achieve. Thank you very much for your time.